Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and I discovered a problem with my monitor. Well, there was, I might actually edit this into a video, I don't know yet. Um, I was editing a video in Premiere, and then it had, like, white, like a black line, like, here. All the way down. And then over the rest of the monitor was, like, white. So then I restarted the um, Windows display drivers, and then I began to have an issue. I'm going to be switching it to VGA. I'm just going to say that there's no thing, and I'm going to hold this. For five seconds, I guess not. I need to remove both of the cables. Now I'm going to be holding this for five seconds. And then it'll go into here. Now, as you can see, right there, use my hand for color. See right here, there's a line. If I go to a different color, and that doesn't really show it well. Does this show it? Not that well. This is the Dell Diagnostic Test Pattern. I don't know if it'll show up or not. Anyway, it's like kind of having a bit of an issue. So earlier I was having an issue with editing the video like Premiere kept having bugs like it usually does and then eventually the monitor just kind of went out the display had issues. Let's see if I can click right in there. So it should be right. Somewhere in there. It's really hard to see now, but it's like right in here. Where is the problem? Right in here. Somewhere. Yeah, it should be right in here. So if I change the brightness, this might show up easier. You can see a line right there. Right here you can cl almost clearly see it. Here's where what it should look like and then this is the problem area. So yeah, this is the part of the monitor that doesn't look right and this is the part of the monitor that looks right. So um yeah, it's a bit of an issue. Bye for now. Oh wait, no. I can... Dell does have a, a refurbishment program, well, uh, an advanced replacement program or whatever, where they'll send you a refurbished unit, and I might be able to do that, so I'll see. But, um, bye for now. So as it turns out, I actually might not have to get a replacement monitor after all. See right here, I'm editing 
this video that you're watching right now. See, there's the timeline. It all looks like it should. Right in here. See, here's where it had the issue. Right here. So that would roughly be somewhere. Here's the help. So it was like on the effect control. So let me click on this. So it was around in here somewhere that it was having issues. Yeah, it was like right in here. As you can see, it's not having issues anymore. So I think my monitor just had a temporary burn-in issue. Um, that can happen sometimes with LCD screens. It's not very common, but it can happen. Um, so yeah, I think what happened is it just was the LED, or LCD uh, panel just got too bright in that area. So the um, pixels had to recover. So yeah, I'm just going to be continuing to use this monitor as long as it works. Also, the actual issue seemed to be a result of um, resource exhaustion. So basically running out of virtual memory. Maybe I should increase my page file or, and or, well, and buy more RAM. But that's really expensive. I'm at 16 gigabytes right now. My next upgrade that I would probably go to is... 32 and that's uh, a lot of money right now so actually goodbye for now